going on my friends i'm rick and this is your seat at the table we got a little uh, actually we got frankie hanging out back there in the background unfortunately i haven't got this other computer set up to where i can get the uh, uh the x split installed so i can split between cameras uh, settings which is something i'm trying to trying to accomplish i'm just taking my sweet time doing it uh one of the other things i had to deal with is uh, the, the laptop was given to me which which is awesome uh, i have to pay for uh, a yearly uh, uh, hacker program software you know i've got norton on my uh, laptop in the living room and i beginning to really really cut and pass the point where i do not like norton to be honest i had mccaffey for a number of years either way they're still expensive and i haven't had the extra money to to invest in yet another software package but we're getting there. We're getting there. So what we're looking at here is the Falcon and the Wolf, a Battletech scenario. This was one of the last uh, faster products to put out, or one of the later uh, faster products that got put out. This is one I didn't buy. And uh, for the love of Pete, I don't know why. I don't remember buying it. Uh, I don't have it on the shelf anywhere. At least I, I don't think I do. I have not run across it any time recently. Um, this was a, this was in tandem with a series and uh, several novels that came out as part of an existing series, and so what you end up with is uh, the clans and Comstar fight uh, of the Battle of Tukiad, and the clans lose, and this means the clans have to abide by a 15-year window of peace and uh, agreement to advance no further than the the, the Tukiad line. And of course, this did not set well for, with many of the clans, especially among the Crusaders. And one of the things that uh, come out of this is the Jade Falcons decide to to fight a a, a, a challenge of a, a refusal, and so uh, Clan Wolf takes them on. And in the process, Clan Wolf uh, loses damn near two galaxies full of uh, res uh, of, of units as and the falcons come out about the same so it's a perfect victory in some ways for for e both sides and either side wins and neither side loses in this scenario i mean at the end of the day uh the refusal is upheld the wolves wolves hold the line uh, what we do see is the dissolution of the of Clan Wolf into two factions, and this is where we get the the nascent Jade Falcons, which is what uh, you know Vlad's people came out of, or no, the Falcons Falcons won the refusal or part of the refusal. It was, it was complicated. Uh, the other half would have been the uh, uh, wolves in exile. So Kellen fell, uh, fell and Kell uh, on uh, direct orders by uh, Kerensky takes all the most of the warden factions and a significant portion of the uh, lower classes and relocate to the inner sphere to be defenders of the inner sphere. Something to that effect. So what this is is a, this covers. Oh, hey there, Missy. Oh no, Missy's in the door. Did you come in by yourself? Or your mama lets you in here. It's hard to say. High pace to pry. Right. Be, for years, the bitter rivalry between the warriors of uh, Wolf Clan and the fa uh, Jade Falcon simmered. And in June of 3057, growing political tensions among the fearsome invaders erupted in the bloody war of attrition. From the mountains of Kalmar to the icy wastelands of Morgs, the armies of these ancient enemies clashing in dramatic duel to the death. Right, so can we get into the induction? How to use the book, bachelor rules, clan honor, one on one, physical attacks, retreating from a battle, unit acquisition, determining point value, bidding rules, selecting detachments, wolf mechs, falcon mechs, clan inner sphere mech names. Plan aerospace fighters. The enemy within a kangaroo court. When the years following the truce to Tucky, attentions continue to grow within the clans. The so called crusader, Crusaders increase their calls for a reputation of the truce and the redemption of the inner sphere invasion, while the warden uh, uh, faction continued to counsel cooperation with the inner sphere. This conflict set the clan against clan, warrior against warrior within each clan. The emergence of new generations of mech warriors within the clans fueled these tensions further. Most of these new warriors come of age during the invasion of the inner sphere, dreaming of winning glory in the battle for Terra. The truth has dashed these uh, visions, however, and left these young warriors frustrated and bitter. Right? So, 
it was a pretty brutal encounter between the two clans. They they really did a number on each other. At the end of the day, though, they didn't really neither side really succeeded all that well in what they were intending to do. Uh, it is this the way it is. So we got the Great Crusade. Cutting teeth, situation Colmar, Jade Occupation Zone. Alright, so the various locations where the Falcons and the and the wolves spare off with each other. We see a number of the, uh, uh, considerable things that go uh, south in this by the conclusion of this event. One of them being that uh, Natasha Korinsky is killed by Joanna, uh, uh, <coughs> Captain Joanna, or Star Commander Joanna, or whatever her rank was at the time. Uh, this was the end of a very long, fabled, uh, infamous career of the Black Widow. And <coughs> I also believe that uh, the, the main Sakan for uh, the, Fal uh, the Falcons was also killed. And uh, so was... Uh, did, did Alec Corinthi die in that battle? I don't remember. I don't remember. He was ill clan at time. Uh, ill. He was the ill clan at time, so maybe not. So I fell on Kellow, Vlad Ward, Star Commander Joanna, Mariel Redrick, Star Captain Jane, Jade Wolf, Ellis Critchell, Con of the J uh, Clan Jade Falcon. A high price to pay, the aftermath, broken hope. Uh, like I said, I didn't own this, so I'd never played any of these scenarios. So I don't know if they're if they were any good or not. I know the novels were pretty good. I mean, it just is. At least I thought they were anyway. So we get a breakdown of, of Clan Jane Wolf unit summary. Thankfully, they did not rain, remain the Jade Wolves for long. Vlad uh, maneuvered them into re reborning them as the accepted clan clan wolf and clan jade falcon or the falcon and the wolf clan jade falcon unit summary I knew there was one in here all right damn it break down all the units that survived and their compositions all right considering how much fighting the falcons did during this era it's it's not it's kind of amazing that they were in any condition to do the fighting that they did in the following the following era in my opinion anyway then we got wolf clan in exile unit summary now we get some personalities and we got six key personalities in there the novel series was really good i mean you you couldn't go wrong with it and of course i want to say falcon rising is part of the series but don't quote me on it i didn't write it down so i can't give you exactly 100 percent which one was what uh this is typical of a of a scenario pack i mean you're going to have five or six decent scenarios and the possibility for a campaign. Uh, basically, in this one, we're just recreating uh, uh, key battles between the conflict between the two clans in their battle for uh, their battle of refusal, or whatever the hell it was. Yeah, see, practice protracted trial of refusal between two most powerful clans, the Wolves and Jade Falcons conflict, called the so-called Refusal War, produced uh, several important changes to clans. Changes may not, may not hold great importance, or may hold great importance for the future of the clans in the inner sphere. First, the war left Clan Jade Falcon devastated. By the conflicts in nearly full, two full Falcon galaxies had been destroyed, and Sakan uh, Shistu had been killed. These losses were severely, severely weakened the clan, leaving it vulnerable to attacks by other clans, jeopardizing its place in the clan invasion. The war nearly destroyed Clan Wolf as well. Nearly two full wolf galaxies are decimated in the fighting, which also claimed the lives of two great uh, wolf leaders, the former Il Clan El Elric Korinsky, I, knew, I thought he died, and uh, Khan Natasha Krinsky. War also led to a schism of the wolf clan. One faction formed the Jane Wolf, the Jade Wolf Clan. A crusader group remained uh, in clan fold. The second faction under leadership of uh, Khan, uh, Khan Fel and Kel was exiled to, with their from their clan brethren and have found sanctuary in the Lyran Alliance. Both Wolf and Jade Falcon uh, clans were two of the strongest of the invading force, so the weakening of both groups weakens the entire clan invasion as well. A development abodes well for the Inner Sphere. However, the exile of Wolf's clan, which served the bulk work of Warden cause, has strengthened the hand. Uh, 
that the clan's crusade uh, strengthened the hand of the crying crusaders and now the crusader calls for a repetition of the truce of Tukiad have grown louder increasingly frequent so their figure it is is that a portion a poor a part of clan wolf i.e clan wolf in exile goes over to the side of the inner sphere by definition they just they just uh no you know stamp null and void on the on the uh uh the the freaking trial so you know how to use this wolf or how to use this book excuse me i'm still getting my still trying to get awake trying to wake up damn it it is what it is I think this is a very nifty. I, I read through it. Uh, I went back and read a couple small spots, but for the most part, the battles, the scenarios themselves, they just remind me of the novels. You know, that was where I got most of my information on it. The downside about this light, and I need the light to see, but then it reflects off the polymer, or even off the pages, a little bit too much. Anyhow. Falcon and the Wolf, my friends. If you can get your hands on it, I'm sure this is PDF out there. I probably should be able to get this without any trouble. Anyway, until next time, I'm Rick. I got little Missy sitting off to the right. And little Frankie sitting in the back over there.